Hi, Alistair here at Team Evolve Paragliding. Uh, this is just a short video about the Neo 70 litre light rucksack, also available in 50 and 30 litre sizes. 70 litre seems to be good for normal hike and fly, gliders up to about 4 kilograms with a sort of strike or the, um, the Neo suspender harness. So let's have a look at the piece of kit. Hi, I'm Alistair with Team Evol Paragliding, based in Krakow. I've been asked to have a look at the Neo Light Rucksack. You may have been watching the X-Alps recently, and you'll see Maxime Pino with this crazy rucksack with big broad um, straps on it. So this is that rucksack. This is slightly modified for the race, uh, slimmed down without some of the features. But I thought I'd just give a quick overview and discuss the product that we have available here. Um, for all you hike and fly aficionados. So, let's have a look. So it's a 70 litre backpack. It's made out of Cordura, so it's much more robust than other rucksacks that you might have seen for hike and fly that are made out of paraglider fabric or other lightweight nylons. So some of the features on it that make it unique. Lots of lovely pockets. So here I've got these two little collapsible water bottles. So the way I like to hike and fly with these, these are five or six hundred mil. I fill them and whatever I don't drink on the hike, I then put into, uh, into my main bladder for the flight. So we've got those both sides. If you have a little close up here, you'll also see there's a lovely zip pocket there on the side where you can put your keys and you can put loads of snacks in here as well. And a little tie to tie stuff too so it doesn't fall out. Uh, I've seen Maxim is just carrying his phone here. I tried this yesterday and that's pretty cool. And some cliff shots, cliff blocks from yesterday as well. And you could have your headphones on and you know doing your long hike and fly. You'd be yeah, have access to your phone just when you need it. Rather than having it stuffed in this one of the side pockets or in your in your pocket sweating on it and getting the screen all mucky like like we usually do so that's what the bag looks like on so it's got this lovely waist strap little metal buckle that goes across and tightens with a wide load bearing waist strap and these black portions here are very strong as well you can see that they add some structure to the bottom of the bag and can be adjusted for uh, different lengths of back, as can these straps at the top here. All the buckles are metal, so no plastic at all in the construction of the bag, which you know, helps when someone treads on your buckle and smashes it uh, with other types of bags that you might see. The other thing to look at are these two buckles here so when it's loaded and you're wearing it it's very supportive very stable you can jog with it and yesterday I had to hike 5k after bombing out I managed to get back in I didn't even have sore shoulders when I got back to the takeoff so it's very comfortable in that respect All right, let's have a look at the other features. So it's got two little uh, pole holders made out of elastic. You can have those for our high trekking poles. These are black diamond carbon ultra Z's. Three piece poles, four piece poles should also fit. And then you've got this long zip compartment here as well. And that is not the long zip compartment. Here's the long zip compartment that runs parallel. It's got a mesh back. You can put spare clothing in here. And this, it shares the volume with the rest of the bag. But it just gives you the option to put little things in there that you might want access to, like a I don't know, raincoat or just an extra layer if you had to stop. It's got these little neat holders here, like you might find on a mountaineering pack. Um, to hold axes if you're going super extreme, I can fly. 
Uh, one of the comments people have made to me is about it getting dirty, so we've got loads of sheep poo and mud here in Wales. Uh, but it's washable, you see it's Cordura, you can just wipe it clean and it's e easy to keep clean. Um, and I don't know, it might even be possible to put it through the washing machine, I'll ask, ask Neo about that, but I, I don't think that'll be necessary. Uh, let's have a look in, inside the bag. So a nice feature is this huge zip compartment. So you can open it all the way up and get everything out in one go. So let's have a look at some of the gear, just out of interest. Pestro gloves for flying, love those. Yesterday's catheter, must get rid of that. Patagonia baseball cap, that's really cool to wear because it you can crush it and it doesn't get damaged. Super pilot helmet, with some grass in it, not the, that type of grass. Little bag of my instruments and in reach. That's my water jammed in there yesterday after I landed. I was in a mad rush to get on the train. And then in the bag, so that's the space that's remaining, it's probably about 30 or 40 litres. And then we've also got a strike and a super wild, so super strike, super wild. The glider is in the orange gin concertina compressed bag, which fits beautifully. And of course, then when you have the the bag on your back it forms a nice structure, almost like having a back plate. And we've got these really comfortable foam pads on the back as well. Harness could go either way around and it seems to hold nice shape in the rucksack either way. So put it back together. Tend to have the helmet on top. One thing I've done recently is taken the GoPro mounts off the helmet because I don't think if you store them in the top they may be rubbed through but they would do that on any type of rucksack. So in there, that would be your normal normal kit for a day out. So you've got plenty of space for, for food, extra jackets, probably another 15, 20 litres spare. Uh, so overall I'd say it's probably the best hike and fly rucksack that I've used. It's beautiful quality, it's robust, um, it's striking, so if you want kit that looks the part, this is this is the bag to go for. Um, and yeah, available here at Team Evolve Paragliding. Thanks.